Grocery stores should pick a random hour every day where the employees can chase you around the aisles. If they catch you, you become produce. Neglected to mention that this game is mediated by a sorcerer. Guys, what do you think, guys, grocery games is? No, Pavlov was the scientist. The dog is Pavlov's monster. While unobserved, Schrodinger is simultaneously the doctor and the monster. Can I go stay in the creek? Do you guys need anything? Yeah, I need you to find a leaf and gently set it in the water and watch solemnly as it floats away. God, finally a reasonable request. Jesus. When I was 10 or so, I was so deathly afraid of vampires, so I stole the garlic powder from my mom's spice cabinet and kept it in my coat pocket. And if I was out at night with, like, my parents and thought someone was acting really sus, I'd try to surreptitiously sprinkle a little garlic powder on them. Like, imagine a weird little girl deciding you failed her vibe check and promptly seasoning you. Kids are gonna go places. It's a red. California. Excellent year. It's a late harvest. Subtle expression of, dare I say, peach? Mm. Exquisite aroma. Now I shall cleanse my palate by knocking this glass off the table. Marvelous. Why are trans women so, you know, Yo, it's the trance. Oh, and the woman. My God, you're so right. Hello, don't mind me. I'm just gonna refrost the thing you were defrosting. I lost a follower immediately after posting this. I found the line. The limit of tolerability. The line exists! It just occurred to me that asexuals would make great secret agents because the power of seduction doesn't work on us. But we could still utilize the power of seduction against our enemies without getting carried away and just guess asexual secret agents. Okay, but what if the enemy agent were also ace? Then you'd just get two aces trying to seduce each other and not getting anywhere. That'd be super funny to watch, though. Hi, Shepard. I'm making an NFT. It's called Fucking Ugly Monkey. It's the world's ugliest monkey you have ever seen in your entire life. It's worth $200,000. Yeah, I'd like to purchase it. You disgust me. Shocking how many people don't know that hens lay non-fertilized eggs and think the yolk they're eating is a baby chicken. Once tried desperately to make my friend understand that yolks were not, like, a liquefied potentiality of a chicken, and she looked at me for a while and then said, but they're both yellow. <laughs> Behold, a chicken. All of the Holmes adaptations always have Holmes and Watson running straight into action like we eat mysteries for breakfast, bitches. But the fact of the matter is, is that in a study in Scarlet, Watson was so shy that it took him six weeks to ask Holmes what he does for a living, which is also valid. Poor Watson. I feel you. So hard. But what does Tiki Nando's mean? It has to have a meaning. Andy, take it from here. All right, so, mate, it's hard to explain, mate. It's just like one day you'll be just, you know, with your mates having a look in JD, and you might fancy a curry club at the Spoons, but your lad Callum, who's an absolute ledge, and the Archbishop of Banterbury, will be like, bruvs, let's have a cheeky Nando's instead, and you'll be like, top, let's smash it. What the hell does this say? According to Miku Hatsune in two Twitter comments, creepers can be made of leaves and they sound like dry leaves. I mean, crunch. So, you can make tea out of creepers? My God. Tea bird!